What's going on guys, your boy Maze, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're we'll going over how you guys can be saving anvils as a free-to-play player by rolling a specific amount on the gear, and I'm going to be showing you guys the method in this video on how to do it. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. Guys, we are, bro, we are literally 1,250 subscribers away from 30,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and 65% of you guys are just not subscribed, man, so, you know, I I know you guys are just watching the videos not subscribe just hit the red subscribe button you know what i'm saying and uh yeah with that out of the way let's hop in and let's go over how you guys can be saving anvils as free to play players all right guys so this works for just literally any type of player in grand cross like if you're just trying to save anvils in general um because overall when you're making a gear set that's probably the the one thing that could actually cut you in terms of you know making the gear set in general um, but let's hop in. Let's just do an example here. So let's say, oh, there you are. Yeah, she has gear. I, was, I thought she might, she might not have gear. Let's get a character that doesn't have any single gear at all, and let's see if we can gear them and, and re-roll the stats. Okay, here. So this Valenti right here uh, does not have gear. So let's see. Let's just, uh, as an example, let me just put an attack, like a few attack pieces on, and we'll just roll these. Just as an example all right guys so when we go to a gear set and as you can see this is usually what the rolls look like when you start right they're usually just like a ton of random rolls here and you're like oh no you know i'm gonna probably just roll for hp i'm probably just gonna set it to around here and uh we're gonna roll for a pretty high amount of hp right uh, but that's not actually what you guys want to do if you're a newer player and i like as newer players you probably don't have a lot of anvils like you know give or take you'll probably have the around like around how much i have right now like 700 so if you want to save anvils set the bar all the way to one percent on the basics that you're trying to roll for so let's say you're rolling for hp or attack or defense whatever the case make sure you put it at one percent and the reason why is because one percent hp is better than max lifesteal or max regeneration rate max um recovery rate any like sub stat that you would get um is still worse technically than you getting the basic stat itself so even if you have one percent hp it's still better than having six percent pierce rate or you, you know what i mean basically if you just have any of the sub stats it's worse you would rather get the one percent hp so we're just gonna apply it just like that you go to repeated exchange make sure you set it on the hp value or attack or defense whatever the case and then make sure you put it at one percent so you can see all the rules will eventually become one percent and by doing this you should be saving anvils in theory because when you roll an hp roll instantly it's just going to give you the the hp roll right um, so as you guys can see this is not like a crazy amount of hp here but this is still better than if you were to run like like this let's say like let's say oh no this one has the exact, exact same amount of hp let's say like this okay let's let's uh let's see the stats here is it about the same let's see not really okay i mean we'll obviously see a, uh, a difference amount of cc but um just as an example here right so let's see so we have forty thousand cc right here with my valenti and we do have a little bit uh higher in the basic stat department but let's just compare um i guess i could re-roll it like uh we'll get it to about like uh five thousand just just to see the comparison right um there we go that's perfect okay so we have a a belt that has a higher basic stat but no hp and just a ton of ra random rolls and then we have this belt right here that we only really rolled for the one percent hp let's see the difference now in terms of combat class here that we're gonna get between the two belts so the first belt is going to give me uh 118 hp right there on valencia 118,500, and we're gonna be at 40,805 cc so if we put on the new belt now um, the one that does not have the HP rolls but is a little bit higher, we are actually going to lose combat class. We're losing about 8,000 HP even though we are having a higher basic stat. So that's why, guys, like even rolling 1% HP is always going to be better as a free to play than going for, like, you know, um, like let's say I have like max lifesteal here. Like, you would rather not have max lifesteal, you would rather have even a mineral HP right so let, let's go over to this piece of uh, gear right here so this piece of gear already has two hp rolls so that's really good so all you have to do set it to one percent make sure that you have the ones that aren't hp uh you know locked on and then we're gonna re-roll these pieces right here and the thing is with re-rolling for hp on on or just like any basic stat in general is that the moment you get it it just gives it to you guys that's the whole point right so even if it's like a, a 2.6 or 2.9 boom you get it instantly no like messing out with the re-rolls um, you just instantly get whatever stat you're looking for, and, and since I'm looking for HP, no matter what type of HP percent I get, it's just gonna give it to me, right? Um, right here we're getting some bad RNG right here. Come on, we just have to roll HP once. <laughs> it's a bad example here, but 
basically yeah there we go so literally 165 anvils and we got look at our hp rolls like that's really good we already got a total of 10 percent hp on this rune and that's not even like a crazy amount and so like what you can do on your gear is like what i like to do is like after you've done your main basic rolls and you're trying to make this gear like pretty good go to the others like pieces like or other uh rolls that you need to roll for and just roll it a one higher so you see it's one uh 1.3 percent hp just roll it for 1.4 percent and since this one's 1.2 we'll do 1.4 as well so we'll roll for these for 1.4 and let's see if we can get a higher percent roll uh for the hp here boom we get a 2.8 just like that look at that that's really good so now we just have to roll this one around this range that's fine so 1.9 roll and then we just gain look at that we gain two percent hp so this is the way that i like to re-roll gear and this is what i've been doing on my uh jp account as well actually so i'll put on my jp account this is what i've actually been doing as well on my jp account you guys can't uh see like the rolls or anything but these are attack rolls right here right so all i would do is uh and especially with these two this is exactly what i did with this you can see this is hp all i did was i set it to min roll hp and i let it roll for the hp and that's what we did and that's exactly how i got these you you know that like we'd have one nice three percent roll the rest are not that crazy but it's still gonna be better than getting any other substat and same with defense as well as you guys can see i rolled for defense one percent defense um and then if we go to this one we got a good amount of defense on this one as well so that's basically how you go about um uh, building gear in grand cross like especially with the the anvil rerolls that's how i go about it um especially when i have like a lot less anvils in general um another thing too is rolling the basic stat i would roll basic stats for for a higher basic stat like let's say like this one's good enough i'd say like the range is probably like um give or take like 85 percent or higher i'd probably go for 80 percent or higher it's probably a good amount like if we go to this or no if you go to this belt right here i would probably re-roll this but you could keep this like this is not bad um but yeah that's the only time i'd use a uh, anvils on basic stats but other than that you're always just going to be using it on these uh stats right here and just go for mineral hp right that's usually what i i like to do when i'm going for uh rolling gear and then even even for box cc as well if you're like a veteran player and you're just going for box cc just like rolling hp on all your gear here when you're giving it to your to your characters in your box just going for any amount of hp is going to be a good way to go about it so that's basically the tutorial right there guys on how to save anvils as a free-to-play player um so in that amount of anvils by the way like let's go back to valenti here where is she let's go back to valenti so i had right i had let's see how many anvils i had at the beginning i had 700 anvils i spent 400 anvils and we got a seven percent hp on that one and 12 percent on that and i also re-rolled like a little bit extra on like these right so that's pretty good right 400 anvils to get like pretty decent hp rolls right here like this is about 20 percent hp on my bottom pieces right here if i was to roll like the top pieces as well and even like the middle pieces we would get a pretty decent gear set especially for like a you know a free-to-play beginner player that gear set would get you sorted out for a, a good amount of time so yeah guys that's basically how you save uh anvils as a free-to-play player i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a good rest of your day